Now that is how you save a couple of dollars doing it yourself. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Ed Gasket Garage, the most exciting automotive channel on all of YouTube, according to my mother when she's talking to her friends. Thanks mom. If you caught our last video, I just revealed a new Jeep Wrangler build for our garage, and I actually identified all the broken pieces that will need to be replaced after a front end collision. We've actually sourced all of our new parts, and today's video is all about making those parts ready for reassembly. Now, if it's your first time here, I hope you enjoyed today's video so much so that you would consider subscribing. So without wasting any time, let's get back to work on our grill. You can see it still has headlights and those chrome bezels. All that stuff needs to come out, including the wiring harness, so we can sand, prep, and get this piece ready for a new color. That color. Right, guys we sanded down our donor grill we got all the blue paint off and we used a scotch bright pad on our factory primed front fender so the last thing we have to do before we spray anything is wipe these panels down with some wax and grease remover to remove all of the contaminants so that our paint can stick so let's go ahead and do that we'll move on to primer then we'll wet sand and then finally we'll spray some paint and of course some clear coat All right, so our primer came out great. I've actually given it about two and a half hours to dry. I think it was two and a half hours. It was whatever four episodes of The Office takes to watch. That's how long I gave it to dry. Kevin just spilled the red sauce. So it's time to sand our primer to get it ready for our base coat. Typically I've done wet sanding, but I just read that this primer is porous and if you wet sand it, you risk getting water inside of the coat and it can screw up 
future coats. So we are gonna dry sand with 800 grit and then we'll move on to our color and our clear coat. So with dry sanding, I of course didn't wash off the dust because I don't want any moisture getting on the paint. And of course, this is the paint that we're gonna use. This is a Chrysler product. It's flame red. The OEM paint code is PR4. Should do just fine. Now that is how you save a couple of dollars doing it yourself. Now I'm really happy with the outcome of this paint job. Of course, that's not the hard part. The hard part's gonna be reassembling this Jeep without scratching that new paintwork. I'm gonna put about eight hours between now and that next move because this clear coat has to harden. It's a great place for this video to end. If you've enjoyed the Wrangler build so far, be sure to subscribe to Ed Gasket. Check out Ed Gasket Garage on Instagram so you can see updates on this Jeep between now and that next video. Otherwise, guys, if you need us between now and the next one, we'll be in the garage.